Hi there guys and welcome back to some more Star Trek as a part of my Flashback Friday series. Last week we completed the first level and we've just got ourselves to New Vulcan. So let's continue where we left off and see how we do. Get him. I must yes. request permission to join you, Captain. Spark, are you sure that's within protocol? I mean, maybe we should just send Scotty and some recruits. Captain, I hope the importance of New Vulcan is not lost on you. Our people cannot afford another tragedy. This planet is the best hope for our race to prosper. Noted. Then you should also note that having a Vulcan as a member of your away team would be essential to the success of this mission. And I am the only one on this ship that has ever been on the surface of New Vulcan or has experience with the Helios all machine. All right, all right, all right. Great. Now there's two of you guys driving me nuts. Oh, hey, bro. Transport ready, Captain. My phaser, Mr. Scott. I've put some wee modifications on it, just like you asked. But I've been working on some other options, too. I've got phase cannons, photon disruptors, and wait till I show you these plasma rifles. Still working out a few things. My phaser will do, Mr. Scott. I guess you don't want to hear about the stasis grenades, then. Nasty little buggers. But if you want your phaser, here's your phaser. Thank you. Energize. All right, so we're finally on New Vulcan. Let's follow her. Any further out and I'd be back in Iowa, Mr. Scott. Sorry, sir. Too much interference. I had to drop you outside. For some reason, the highest security protocols have been enabled on this door. Can we hack it? Possibly, but you will have to work together to beat the encryption. All right, we got it. There we go. Override successful. Captain, the system seemed to have been purposely shut down. I can provide assistance. Tamar, can you operate all the systems from here? Yes, I helped build and design. Captain, if you are implying that I should stay behind. Tamar, we may need your technical assistance should things get... Unfriendly? Unpredictable. But my father... When we find him, you'll be the first to know. I will remain in constant contact. Thank you. Captain, shall we proceed? After yes. you. Yes. They are dead, Captain. Yes, they are. We have got to go that way. Okay. Did you see that? I did. Where did that come from? guy wasn't right in the head. I understand that our lives were at risk, but we must endeavor not to use lethal force. Agreed. Why? We both need to use stun from this point on. I think he's been poisoned. Scans show numerous toxins in the adrenal glands and bloodstream. Oh dear. Come on, Spock. Let's go. disturbed individual we got to take him out but remember stun only I would not have it any other way ah, who is that have you come to help us I have but uh, you're not gonna help us so this door is locked tight we need Let's a code a mind meld may be our only chance to find out what has happened To it then. Are you sure you want to touch that guy? A mind meld is our only option. And? Anything? I have never encountered this before. His mind has been corrupted. Also, I now know the code to that door. Enterprise, we have injured. Prepare to transport. Aye, sir. Everything? Captain. I am detecting several Vulcans behind this door, but their readings are erratic. May I suggest setting our phasers to stun? After all, they are Vulcans. Okay. Leave now! I have lost all control! There must be a cure! 
sure. Thanks for the booze! Let's find the Ciroc guy and get the hell out of here. Officer. Quickly. Come in. Good, as long as you guys are good guys, I'm fine. Osa Vensu. Spock. Sirak, I am relieved to see you unharmed. This is my commanding officer, Captain Kirk. Captain, this is Sirak. Pleasure. And Tamar? I am here, Father. Tamar, I am pleased to hear your voice. Now what the hell is going on down there? We have been attacked. Creatures of an unknown origin. They emerge from the rip not long after it appeared. What creatures? Oh we have only been able to decipher that they call themselves the Gorn. Spock, oh, of course. we cannot allow the power of the Helios machine to fall into their hands. It would be catastrophic. Why would they be after the machine? They could use it to create rips anywhere in the universe. They would be able to attack without warning. Where's the machine now? Further underground, in the colony's deepest labs. I have secured Excellent. all entries into the lab to prevent the device from falling into hostile hands. Tamar, are you able to provide additional assistance? I can open the fire door that leads further into the labs. After that point, I will no longer be able to assist them. Your guidance is all we ask. Then I advise caution. There are likely okay. to be more infected Vulcans up ahead. Got it. If we move quietly and maintain a low profile, we should avoid detection. Captain, if you must dispatch them, please be merciful. Understood. I'm always merciful. I've stopped you, it's alright. It's okay. Stay down, don't let them see you. If you talk much louder, they'll hear you. Where and then am I going? You have gotcha. Sure, there's no more. I don't know. You tell me where you're going. I'm not gonna kill you, I'm just stunning you. It's okay. Find that guy and take it out before he notices? Yeah. Most certainly, our Starfleet. Dr. McCoy, have you been able to ascertain the nature of the Vulcan's infection? There seems to be high toxin levels. Origins unknown. We'll continue to investigate. Bones? They're breaking up. I can't hear you. It's deep underground. Lost them. It appears we are now completely on our own. Well, that's fine. We can sort it. Try not to, okay? We've got to do some sort of damage to you. Great, more friendlies. Ooh, what's this? Both from Pulse Cannon. Can you help Cannon. me? I see you. Save yourself now. Take him down, stop. I see you. Through here, I see. The amount of infected we have encountered is alarming. It is, but at the end of the day, it was always gonna. Ooh, orange butt this time. Can't scan it. Come on, Spock. Let's go. Spock, over here. Aha. An access hatch. Vision of a new 
Vulcan homeworld. I have expressed my doubts to Tamar, but she remains adamant that she will not allow Daniels to compromise our plans. I... Warner attempting to steal the device. You must hurry. Potter must not waver. Oh. They don't sound like friendlies. Spock, where are you? Get up here. Oh dear. Alright, Spock, help me. Spock, you gotta try and you know stay out of his way. Leave me alone. What? Are you actually about to finish me? I'm in trouble. Me to revive you. You have my thanks. I don't know how you revive people, but that would be. Thanks do. for the booze. Yes. Trying to scan. Hello. Alright, it's not going to let me scan it. Fair enough. Captain, the Helios device. The device. Ah, shit. It's not gonna be good. And now we've got these little velociraptor guys. I see more of that. Device. Ah, shit. Sirak? We can't even get back to Sirak. Or get through to Sirak. There's not appear to be answering, Captain. Shit. We gotta get that device back. Tamar, do you know where they went? Difficult to tell, but it appears that they are taking it towards the surface. <sighs> we'll never catch them. Captain, if I restore power to the turbo lift, you may be able to intercept them. Do it. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I was right there. Cool. Come on, Spock. Waiting on you, Bo. Scotty, check off. Respond. You will have a difficult time communicating. Containment cell. Oh, it dead. causes a great deal of interference. Ah, uh, perfect. Looks like it's just you and me, Spock. That seems to be the usual course. Oh, 
Great shot. This one down. Oh dear. Gotcha. Wait, hang on. That should explode, right? Should do. You're dead. Don't do it. Okay, yeah, you that did water it. is now an electrical hazard. We need to find a way across without stepping in the water. Get wet and I get zapped. Too simple enough. Indeed. Ah. Well, it's Tomb Raider style now. You love to see it. Is he? We'll get him back. No, the Helios machine must be our top priority. There we go. Sirak would not have us save him, only to put the entire galaxy in danger. Tomorrow, what's the status of the device? They've nearly reached the surface. Damn it, we need to move faster. <laughs> All right, I'm across. Turn off the water and Spock comes along. That's alright then. Captain, you have reached another unpowered door. Look around. Can you see any power cells? Where are we going to find another power uh, it's cell? It's going to be an air. Perhaps we can retrieve a power cell from a functional socket. Yeah, we probably could. Where is this? Ah. Give me a boost. Give me a hand, Spock. Ooh. All right. Assume it's in here. Back on the surface of Vulcan. Alright, yeah, have a seat. Let's go to this. Another one of you big bastards. Oh, the sh Damn! Captain! Okay, so that's going to be it for episode two of Star Trek as a part of my Flashback Friday series. As always, guys, thank you for watching. If you have any feedback for me, please leave it in the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date with everything I'm doing, including more Flashback Fridays, then please subscribe and I'll see you next time.